In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to display image from database using PHP. So here you can see we are showing the name email. So right now we are going to show the image from the database. So body what you need to do is that we'll go back to our code. And here after the email, we'll add on what teach here. And here we are going to say image. So right now we'll go down and here you can see email. So after email, we are going to show the image. So let me say here TD tag. And here we are going to mention the image and in the source, first of all, we need to mention in which folder we are uploading the image. So we are uploading the image in the uploads folders. So first of all, we need to mention the folder name, which is uploads. Then we need to give a slash here. After that, we need to give the PHP opening, then the PHP closing. Then here you can see uh, by using dollar row, we are showing the ID name and email. So again, we are going to say here, first of all, we need to say echo, then dollar row, then to third bracket, then to single position. And inside these two third brackets and single position, we are going to mention our image column name, which is image. So we say here image, and we need to end this with a semicolon. So right now, if we just set this, and if we just, refresh here there you can see we are able to see the image but the image size is too big right so in order to solve it we are going to say here after the image we set here height it will be let's say 80 px and width it will be 80 px and let's also say here alt and in the alt we are going to say image not found if there is any issue with the image that the image uh, is somehow deleted from the upload folder, then it will show us a message that image not found. Okay, there is a arrow sign here. Let me give up this. So it will be like this. So right now, if we save it, then refresh here. There you can see image is right now smaller and we can see the image properly. So this is how you can show image from database using PHP. I hope this was super simple for you. Make sure to subscribe and I will to see you in the future tutorials.